Hi, my name is Alex from AP Commerce, and in this video, I will introduce the progress payment that we developed for Business Central. First, I'm going to go over the overview of progress payment and why this functionality is needed in Business Central. And then we'll talk about why this could be used as a replacement for the prepayment functionality in Business Central. And lastly, I will do a demo of what the progress payment looks like. The progress payment is basically you're paying your vendor based on the progress of the order. When you create the order, typically you need to pay a de the first deposit for the order. Now, as the order is being worked on, you will check on the status of the order and pay based on the milestones. During the process, the contents of the orders may change. There may be multiple revisions because there are supply shortages, labor changes, or just maybe overall the requirement changes. You may need to modify the contents of the order. Even until the last minute, as the items are being loaded onto the containers, your order may change because they may try to maximize the space that they're trying to load onto the containers. Now let's talk about why the standard Business Central prepayment functionality may not work in our scenario when you are creating the order your vendor is going to want a deposit before they start working on the order in the standard business central prepayment functionality as soon as you make that first prepayment you will not be able to modify the content of the of the order at all if you want to modify the contents of the order you would need to issue a credit memo for the initial prepayment invoice make your revisions and recreate your prepayment invoice you can see where this gets a little complicated if you make multiple prepayment invoices and if those prepayment invoices are paid, uh, modifying the contents of the order will be a nightmare. So why do you want to use the progress payment functionality in Business Central? The standard prepayment is too restrictive. Prepayment allocates the prepayment by line. Allocating it by line doesn't make sense because there are just too many changes that are going to occur uh, in the, the total life cycle of the order. Lastly, the progress payment does not deal with percentages. Um, you could specify the progress payment amount and how much you want to apply per posting. Now let's go through a quick demo of the progress payment functionality in Business Central. I created a purchase order for the London Postmaster. Initially, when you place an order with the vendor, they may want a deposit. So what I'm going to do is click on action, posting, progress payment, and post progress payment invoice. When I click on this icon, a prompt will show up asking me how much I want to invoice. So in this case, I want to make a deposit of $500 for this invoice. I'm going to click OK. When I scroll down to the progress payment fast app, I will be able to see that I've made a $500 deposit for this order. If you want to see the actual prepayment invoice, I could click on prog uh, related progress payment and progress payment invoices. And this will show me the detail of the progress payment invoice. As you can see, it went to my vendor prepayments GL account. And this is all based on setup. Now let's say the vendor partially delivers some of the items based on the progress payment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to receive two. For this two products that I receive, I want to be able to choose how much of the progress payment I want to apply. I am going to apply $100 of the $500 prepayment. I'm just click on post and receive an invoice. Now you see right away that it will display that I've applied $100 so far. On my log, it'll show me that there's an application for $100. If I take a look at the invoice that was posted, you will see that it has invoiced the two pieces at $100 and it took out the prepayment that I've applied for $100. So the total amount of the order is 100. Now on here, let's say the vendor calls me and says, you know what, I, I can't make 10. I can only make a total. I can only give you six more. You can simply reopen the order, change the quantity and do your posting. I can go ahead and post the remaining order. It will deduct whatever remaining progress payments I have made to the order. In summary, the progress payment functionality offers you flexibility on paying for orders before it's delivered. You can make multiple progress payment invoices and you can receive multiple times on the order. And the details of the orders can change however you wish. I only show this on the purchase side, but it works exactly the same way on the sale side, except instead of receiving goods, you're shipping goods. So you could send out 
progress payment invoices to your customers before you ship the goods. All this is designed to eliminate additional work with the prepayment functionality. A lot of customers, they choose not to use prepayment functionality because it just doesn't offer the flexibility that they need when there are changes to the orders. And that's it. If you have any additional comments or feedback, please don't hesitate to reach out.